Hey everybody, Ben here. I just wanted to talk about the safe area feature that we've had since Blender 2.74. I'm in 2.75 Release Candidate 2. Uh, this feature, just to show you real quick, if I go into my camera view, and with my camera selected, I can choose my camera properties, and now I have my safe areas down here that I can turn on and off. Let me just go to those, just the safe areas. I have some presets. If I choose the 16.9 preset, I have two dotted boxes. The outer box is referred to as action safe, and the inner box is referred to as title safe. Basically, uh, the way this works is title safe, the inner box, anytime you want to read text, it has to be inside of title safe long enough to be read. And action safe, anything outside of action safe, you have to assume it simply won't be seen. Okay. That's it. So nothing important can happen outside of action safe and important text that needs to be read cannot happen outside of title safe, at least during the time when you're supposed to be reading it. In the industry I work in, which is American television, American films, if you have anything outside of those areas, they will send it back to you. So once I did some opening titles years ago and the opening title kind of hung below title safe just a little bit, and they sent it back to me, said, redo it, you're outside of title safe. And I, I was kind of baffled at the time, but I quickly learned my lesson and now I keep everything in my safe areas. If we go, just real quickly, I wanna go into Photoshop to compare the safe areas. So if you're in Photoshop, you tell it to make a new composition, you don't have to do this. Film and video, I'm gonna choose HDTV 1080, so that's 1920 by 1080, uh, a really common size to be working in. I'm gonna click OK, and when you choose the video preset in Photoshop, it actually puts in action and title safe for you by means of guides. So you'll notice here that the action safe, the outer box, comes in 5%, and then the second one is at 95%. In other words, they're cropping in 5% on either side, or 10% total. Same thing with the right and left sides, 95% and 5%. Title safe does the same thing, except now it's doing 10%. So an additional 5%, 90%, 10%, 10%, 90%. And that's pretty standard uh, with everyone I've worked with. They pretty much work 5%, 10%, 5%, 10% to measure the action safe box and the title safe box. And if you ever don't, if you're ever in a program that didn't have that, you could sort of measure that out on your own and have it available, which is what we've all done in Blender in the past that have needed this sort of thing. Well, the trick here is that if we actually go back and forth here, you can see real quickly, first of all, the top and bottom action and title safe are way different than what you get in Photoshop. I don't have this five, 10%. They're squeezed together. It looks like it's coming in, you know, a little bit in this tiny little space here. This one, you've got a pretty good gap, but not nearly as large as what Photoshop is giving me. And uh, also a much smaller gap on the outside edges. Well, that's gonna be a problem because the quality control guys down the pipeline will look at this very closely. And if you're outside of where you're supposed to be, even even though you might think you're in the boundaries because of where these dotted lines are, they're still gonna send it back. So we're gonna change the safe areas here. So we're gonna change our safe margins uh, from 0 0.035, which is very, very small. We're gonna change it to 0.2, okay, on the X and 0.2 on the Y. Now if I turn my action safe just to zero so we don't see it, what that means is it's taking 10% on both sides in. And that's a lot. I mean, it's cropping out a lot of the image. Realize it's not actually removing the image though. It's just saying your text, the important text needs to happen inside this box. Um, action safe margins, again, 5% on both sides. That's 10% total. So X is gonna be 0.1 and Y is going to be 0.1. And this is a correct looking, you can compare the two, correct looking proportions for action safe and title safe. You also have the center cut safe areas, which means when you're working on a 4-3 screen, it's gonna be cropping the right and left sides out uh, if they don't letterbox it on the top and bottom. So this the, the, the center cut guys just give you a sense of where the screen's gonna be cut off, where the title safe would be in a 4-3. So just in case you're not sure if it's gonna go to 69 or if it's gonna go to 4-3, they might crop it out, you're ready to put your text in the, in the correct place. The numbers for that, uh, for X, it's gonna be 0.4 and for Y it's going to remain 0.2 because we're not cropping on the top and bottom. And for the uh, action safe margins, it's 0.325, and then again, Y is gonna be the same, which is 0.1. So you'll see I have this inner box inside an outer box, and you can toggle that on and off. 
So if I were doing something and I didn't know if it was going 69 or perhaps uh, the television station was going to crop it to a 3-4, I would have to work inside this narrow boundary of text, which is really annoying, but they will still send it back to you if you don't do it. So this is the setting, and I would make a preset for that. I'll call this Ben 16-9 is what I'm going to call that. So now I've got a 16-9 setup. Um, for me, and this is what I use instead of the default 16.9, which I don't know where these numbers are coming from. I'm sure there's a reason for it, but I can't understand what it is. So good. I hope this helps. If you're working in television and film, this definitely matters to your work, to your professionalism. So thanks for watching.